own boasting tongues, not in the diminished frightened stammering of my childhood, but to shape scorching syllables of midnight dust. Words that stood up in bed, danced merengues and cumbias, that incinerated the belly like a shimmering habanera. Words with spoonful of tears, buckshot, traces of garlic, cilantro, arrows of spray, and ocean froth. Words like a far, tarnished, smooth faces and wrong song out of silence. Words as languid as a woman's stride, as severe as a convict's gaze, herniated like a bad plan, soaked as in a summer downpour. I aspire to walk inside these words, to manipulate their internal organs surrounded by blood, gray matter, and sauceros, to slam words down like the bones of a street domino game, and to crack them in two like lovers' hearts. that you can visit the Achucha Center of Ukraine. It's a place of words, a place of art, a place of imagination. And I want to point out one person who helped make it happen, and I know she didn't expect it, but I want to point out my beautiful wife, Trini, who's sitting right there. And she's sitting right there. case going. So it's important to recognize that because words are power. And I'm convinced this is why in many of our neighborhoods, you can't find a bookstore. You can't find a cultural space or a beautiful cultural cafe. You can't find an art gallery. Because I think somewhere somebody knows that art, words, imagination, and we don't have it. Uh, so I'm going to share with you another poem then.